My name is Gavin Strange and I'm senior designer for Armament Animations right here and by night I go under the alias of Jam Factory where I make films, games, art, stuff. I just like making stuff basically. I've just finished painting a five foot tall dog as part of Gromit Unleashed which is an initiative that sees 80 giant grommet statues placed around the city of Bristol, customised by different artists. So I've just finished painting that and making a film about it as well. So that was the best project I've ever, ever been involved in. So that was amazing to be a part of that. I think it's almost imperative that you have side projects, really. You don't stop being creative when the bell goes at 5.30. You don't just stop there, you can't. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. I'm, I don't have a family yet, so I have a bit more, a bit more free time in, in that respect. But I hope that just throughout my life, I'll just make stuff. I just think it's really important to do side projects because they just open your brain up to new avenues of things, whether that's a new creative inspiration or a new style, or even just as small as it's a new typeface. You don't really get a chance to explore if you're doing stuff for a client. So I think those side projects really um, open you up as a designer and give you new opportunities. I think the energy comes from probably not drinking. That's quite good. I've never got a hangover. So that means uh, Saturday and Sunday I'm on write-offs. Um, I don't know. I think I've, I've just got, I've not got any more energy than anyone else. I just like being productive. Telly's a bit rubbish. So what else do I fill my time with? Apart from seeing friends and riding bikes and skateboards and stuff, then might as well make something because then you've made something. You you get to hold it, you get to see it, it's your creation. There's no greater feeling than that. So it's just that constant chase of that feeling of creation, I guess. My tools of the trade, definitely what I have at all times, and I find it imperative in any studio, is a Nerf weapon. At any point, warfare can break out, you need to be armed. That's, that's probably my most important. But the actual stuff I use to get stuff done is um, Photoshop, Illustrator, those sorts of things, and just pen and paper. Um, I quite like, I get really inspired seeing how different creatives and all different people sort of jot stuff down. And I really love Dieter Ram's designs. You know, he's got this uber simplistic, beautiful style of product design, yet all his sketches are just all quite basic. And that, I like it when I see someone who's amazing, whose sort of style behind the scenes is not that good, because I'm not that good and it inspires me. You know, when you see someone so amazing, they're just untouchable, you have no idea how you can ever get there. I like seeing the stepping stones just to, oh, okay. You know, you just got to kind of keep plugging away to get better. So I guess it's my tool set is the usual um, nuts and bolts of everything, Photoshop, Illustrator and a sketchbook and a camera. I like documenting everything as well, but aside from that, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing exciting. What does the future hold, blimey? Um, well, hopefully hoverboards, I'm still waiting for that, as I'm sure everyone else is, because, you know, we're way overdue on that. Um, I don't know, I would like to continue kind of the way I am, really, and just, I'd, I really very much enjoy giving talks and stuff. I think it's a massive honour to be able to talk to people about what you love, definitely. So I'd love to be able to do more of that, do more film stuff, more integrated projects, I think. I think I do like doing big projects that have an event attached to them or a, a piece of print and stuff. So bigger, bigger things, but also I like doing the smaller bits to, 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 to sort of stepping stone to learn new things because you can't just do massive projects all the time, I've noticed. You, it's just draining and it takes over your life and it's all consuming. You need some, some breathers. So I would say the future is more random stuff that I have no idea, but I, whatever it is, I'm excited about it. I just don't know what it is yet.